right, what's going on everybody? <laughs> My name is Chris Murphy. We're out here in Ponte Vedra at the Wood Residence. We got a Florida Fieldstone retaining wall going along here. And we also got another one around the uh, jacuzzi. They has got a new pool and jacuzzi and all that. We got some metal edging going along the, all the way along the back. We got some more metal edging. It's gonna separate pine straw from the river jack, which is along the side. We're also gonna put, put some weed mat down to try to keep the weeds out. And uh, there's gonna be weed mat coming down here to help keep those weeds out. Right here, we got some uh, flagstone steppers that are gonna look really nice going up to their new pool deck and everything. I mean, and as you can see back here, this is the river jack. where Brian's spreading. <laughs> That'll look really nice. When we get the pine straw in, it'll be a nice contrast and keep the, uh, that, that edging right there, keep that stuff separated really good. Hola everybody, this is day three out here at the Wood Residence. We got everybody working hard, Miss Wood included over here. Our fearless leader Mike over there. And uh, Brian, he just carried that palm tree back here and planted it, so good to go on that one. All right, so here goes our flag, flagstone steps. We got a few of the limestone rocks around it. This is just an awesome walk up to a brand new pool right here. It's a natural look, you know, no, I really like it. As you can see, we've laid our rocks, our pine straw, and we worked our way out. We got another strip of the metal edging along the back against this ligustrum uh, hedge line here. A lot of beautiful plants they have here in the yard, flowers. So we're gonna work our way out with this pine straw. And probably tomorrow we'll finish our limestone retaining wall. And we'll work it in here between the, uh, the new Robolini and the second Robolini that's gonna go just to the right up there. And uh, they got a fire pit they just had delivered this morning. All that stuff's gonna go in this area along with some steps, some more steps just like the flagstone steps over there to go from this lower elevation to the higher elevation and then from the higher elevation down to a lower elevation and all the way out the, uh, out the fence and everything is gonna be river jack just like you're seeing over there on the right. All right, so we got a couple more days out here and then we'll wrap up this beautiful backyard. He's probably already started the video. He found it, yeah. He may enter. <laughs> oh man! Come on. It ain't red and everything, but. You guys are that kind of mood today. Thank you guys. Hey man. Thank you. The grand entrance. Jeez. Is this because you got a mix up? You're not doing a pond this week? It's like, you don't know what to do with yourself today? Yeah. He's got to read his script. Me, I just wing it. Hey guys, welcome back to another uh, Let's Talk Thursday. So originally this was a viburnum tunnel, very dark, could not see through here at all. The end product will be a very clean gravel walkway with a metal edge that separates the property. Very clean. If you've got permeability issues and stuff like that at the beach, you can only do gravel. So this is a good alternative. We'll show you a good finished product. So these guys were maxed out and they couldn't Maxed out, walkway. totally. Yep. Show you some unique design things that had to do with the patio just to get square footage under the pergola. Um, come on through, come on through. That's a cool gate. Cool gate, yeah. So some custom things here. Homeowner's husband builds a lot of this stuff himself. So oh, really, yeah, really neat. That's super cool. Yeah, man. Um, you can see our first set of steps will come in right here and transition up to an elevated patio that we retained with Florida Fieldstone. So you guys, you see that. The city doesn't count that either for your permeability. Really? So if if you're running out of room on your, your square footage, yeah, what was that? What's you that? can retain with boulders and it won't count against you. These are some of the steps I'm talking about, guys. The big slabs. Check those out. So way cool. Never going anywhere. Something a little different than boxy, blocky steps and things that you see. And just a really cool way to transition from an upper elevation. Anytime you can have a, an elevated patio and change the dimension of your flat yard, it looks awesome. Again, some things the homeowner built. Look at that. Yeah, that's cool. Growing this grapes. One, this one he did like a cedar at the top. Yeah. Well, I told him not to do anything but cedar. Yeah. So, that's, so those are grapes, like muscadines? Yeah, some there. different grapes and some uh, raspberries. These are definitely or blackberries. Customers, aren't they? Yeah. 
She plants a lot of her own stuff. You can see all these things she does herself. Uh, I love the mixture of the candle leaves and herbs. Oh yeah. So the view of this is from the main patio. Yo, here's the zero landscape. A lot of edible things over here too. Really cool. This is kind of where we transition to a hardscape. We've got some more of the steps to get us to the patio level. This design aspect up here, we had to split the patio to even get hardscape area underneath the, the pergola. So I came up with this little design idea just to split it up and we were allowed just to get the square footage we needed under there. Now she has some cool pockets for succulents and all kind of stuff. So imagine the rain that comes off of here, guys, and now it's caught by the plants. It's caught by the gravel. Your foundation's not wet. Your fence is not wet. So this is doing a lot. If you spend that upfront money on gravel and you never have to change it. This is uh, our final day out here at the Wood Residence, the wrap-up day. We really just got basically to gravel everything on the way out. We've got everything established, our rock wall, all of our edging, all of our pine straws laid, all of our gravels laid. We've built all of our steppers. Everything looks really cool. There's no grass back here. It's all landscape, beautiful flowers and plants and whatnot. They're gonna, these people are gonna get to enjoy this for for a long time. This is a, a different one. You know, we have Facebook Live come out um, showing love to the boss, you know, one of the grand poobas and whatnot. Obviously, Parn Crew, number one, we did our thing out here. Brian, Mike, shout out to the designer, John Cashione, who came up with the whole zero scape, low maintenance plan. It's a team effort. Without everybody putting in 100%, it doesn't get done and it doesn't look beautiful like it's supposed to. You can come to Earthworks for anything. You need one palm tree, you need 17 palm trees, you want your whole yard done, or you want us to build you a great waterfall, just holler at us.